Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. The long-awaited time has come. I finally got the Sennheiser mic. And we are going to do a little quick unboxing. I pre-cut the tape. All right, that's in there good. Alrighty. All the manuals and stuff, all nice and taped together so we don't have to worry about them. Then we've got the mic itself. Oh man, this thing really is light. Teeny! We've got the little case. The little dead cat. And the two different cables. But one's a tip ring, one's a tip ring ring or whatever the hell they call it. So yeah, let's hear it for the unboxing. And I believe I need tip ring for now. Not gonna use that. We'll look at that later. And we'll close this all back up. And then we're gonna end up putting this together and getting it on the camera. So I've got the A7C with the 16 to 35 f4. It's all connected up to the Cinerig. I have the Movo VXR10 that's always there plugged into it right now, and that's the sound that you're hearing. So I'm gonna switch these microphones once I get this all connected up and together, and we'll switch. So right now, you've got the Movo VXR10, and, and now we have the Sennheiser MKE200 connected. Now I've got it blocking the screen. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to need to reset any of the audio settings on the camera, but for now, this is what we've got. So, this is a test of in-studio audio with the Sennheiser MKE-200. Alright, so I had to move the mic from one side to the other because it was too close, to, like it was butted right up against the handle and I wouldn't be able to hold the handle and, and use it that well. So now it's on the other side. It looks pretty big with the dead cat on it, but I don't think that that's going to be a real issue. Uh, and I don't give a shit. I want it to block the wind. And you all know, in Virginia Beach, there's always wind. I will test it without the dead cat. But I'm not going to do that today because it's pouring down rain outside. So every test that I'm going to do would be inside. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera off the Cinerig and I'm just going to walk around my house and see how that sounds. So let's do that. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. Looks like this might need to be turned up a little bit. It isn't really even going up halfway with my normal voice. And since I talk so loud, I don't know. Bang! Bang! See, even there it's not peaking. So I'm probably gonna have to turn the audio up and see what it sounds like. But let's take a walk through the house because we've got all the hallways and, you know, weird shit going on. And... Is that picking up the rain? Well, here's a good test. I'm looking out the window and I'm holding the camera. Mm, if I spread my fingers apart, it's about that far away from my face. I don't know, half a foot, give or take. All right, we're back to me. Not too bad. I think I'm gonna have to go in. I mean, even though this doesn't look bad, now right now, uh, all right, this is a perfect spot because I'm in the stairwell between upstairs and downstairs, and it's got a really high ceiling and there's a lot of reverb off the walls. I don't know if you can actually hear that. What I was gonna say though, is that because I'm in here and there's no light on in the house and it's dark because it's a shitty day out, I'm looking at the ISO and it looks like it's maxing at 12,800. 
Normally I always max my ISO out to 6400, but given that I don't have a fast lens and also that I have started to be convinced that these cameras do noise really well on higher ISOs, I'm just going to turn it up. I'm going to max it out and let it pick whatever it wants for low light. And I'll just deal with that. Again, I am not a cinematic Hollywood blockbuster channel. I'm a shitty little vlog. I'm gonna have to change the cable where the cable goes though. I don't like that it, okay, there we go. And I might have to wrap that around once or twice. There's a lot of extra cable. Okay. So now, got the TV going in the background. It's a riveting action scene. Don't know if you can hear it. Here. All right, well, the armored car just wrecked. So now it's silent that I'm checking to see if you can get background noise. All right, now I'm in a corner and I've got reverb and all that neat stuff. Okay, I think you're gonna get the gist. We'll figure that all out when we get it onto the computer. There, I've got it on the Ulanzi tripod, of course. You can get a different perspective of what's behind me. Do I have that all the way to 16? No, let's put it all the way to 16 and now you can definitely see the looming bookshelves behind me. And that's it. I think that this is a, a, a perfect addition. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna go listen to the audio now, but I guarantee you it's gonna sound great. The only thing that had concerned me was being behind the camera because a lot of times I turn the camera around and I show you stuff that I'm looking at. But I watched a really good video last night and he did all these amazing tests and basically showed that, that you can hold the camera like all the way out and be behind it and it still picks up your voice well enough. So I'm confident that that's going to be the case for me. I will have to test this again outside, but again, I didn't realize it was supposed to pour down rain today. So I'm not going outside. And I also have a shitload more forms to fill out. Last day for this campaign. So that's it. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing, do some quick tests for you, and you know, I'll give you some final thoughts after I test this a little bit more extensively. So probably, I think tomorrow, no rain, I will be able to take this thing out to my normal haunts, and I'm gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna go to the boardwalk, so you can hear the ocean, you can hear the people, you can hear the construction. I'm gonna go to the woods behind the rec center, Great Neck Park, walk around there like I do when I test everything out. And, and it's sort of gonna be like the final test of this setup because now everything is all put together. Meaning I've got the Yolanzi carbon fiber tripod, I've got it on a, a Yolanzi cage, small rig handle, the A7C, the Sony 16 to 35 F4, and now the Sennheiser MKE 200. It is my final setup. The only other thing that's gonna change is if I end up at some point getting the Sony 20 millimeter F1.8, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon because of that stupid tax bill. So it'll be a while before that happens. But for now, I'm perfectly happy with this. I'm adjusting to the weight of everything and, and carrying this all around and yeah, it's gonna be great. Okay, so that's it. This is just an, an initial, hey, I got it, here we go. And let me know what you think it sounds like, if it, if it sounds good. As far as the weight and everything goes, eh, negligible, doesn't even matter, it's great. And now I don't have to worry about the battery on the Rode Wireless Go, which incidentally on the past two videos has gotten some low little in the background that I could hear and drives me crazy. So. Perfect timing to get the Sennheiser mic, and yay. All right, that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.